I'm Ashley. And I'm Brooke. And you're here with us on A Teachers Who Talk Crime Podcast. I just remembered I didn't think of a jingle yet for the pregnancy updates. Oh, yeah. You did say you were going to come up with a jingle for the pregnancy segments. Ashton, lay down. Oh, that was that mom slash teacher voice. If you are watching on, uh, not unicorn, if you're watching on YouTube, (laughs) Ashton got a new unicorn and she loves stuffed unicorns. It's the only stuffed animals like she plays with. It's unicorns. I'm telling you, this is my child made over. So this is her new stuffed unicorn. And that's why she's super excited because she, like, wanted to show y'all. So here's her unicorn. I'm going to give it back to her now. Oh. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. Lay down. Okay. She's happy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hey, y'all. How you doing? Hey. Hey. Oh, I don't mm-hmm. think y'all saw my St. Patrick's Day nails. If you watch it on YouTube, look at them. Ooh. Oh, see, I jumped straight to Easter, girl. Easter. Oh, see, mine are next. I wanted to do my a little St. Patrick's Day. Because I need another not... excuse. Let's see, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a little. It's a little. There they go. Okay, are. there they go. There they go. Okay, very pastel Yeah. yeah that is. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy? For Easter, I'm doing something similar to that. But I'm doing, like, uh, a French... But like a double French, like a French and then a thin line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like same color scheme, but Mm -hmm. yeah. I just need another excuse to wear green because it's my favorite color. Yeah. I like those. I saw them on uh, Instagram. My girl wasn't there and it was like an emergency because we leave on Saturday for spring break. And I was Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I got to get them done. Right. So then I was like, Mm -hmm. okay, called her and I was like, hey, if I get something like super basic, who can do them? And she was like, oh, I'll get you. Da, da, da. So I just went as basic as I could. And I also went yeah. short, as the shortest I have ever had my nails. Let me see. Those are like the length of mine. I know. <laughs> I, I know. Y'all, I don't even Any know Any longer. Do. And these are actually longer than I normally get, but I wanted more room for the design. So I, I didn't have her cut them this time. And like some things, like I'm just like, ooh, I can't really function. I'm not. Yes. This is so short to me. It's like. Wow. I, I don't know what to do with my cell. You don't know what to do with your cell. I don't know what to do with my cell. I mean, welcome to the club. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So um, give us an update because everybody asking. I'm going to have a oh, yeah. jingle next time. The pregnancy update. Well, we went to the mm-hmm, doctor mm-hmm. today. And How many weeks? Like, What's the size? Give us all the things. So, yeah. Okay. So right now, let me let me look at my app. Mm-hmm. Let me look at my app. Mm, where's my app? There we go. Okay, we're loading. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are a large onion. Wow. Yep. Okay. We are a large onion. If okay. you want to know uh, Disney milestones, mm-hmm. we okay. are the size of Jack Jack's cookie from The Incredibles. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's yeah. a good comparison. If you want 80s and 90s nostalgia, we are the size of a Pop-Tart. Mm-hmm. They have a lot mm-hmm. of different categories in there. They do. Yeah. If you want some sports, we're the size of a stick of deodorant. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not me looking at my bear from my stick of deodorant. Like, mm-hmm. hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then if you want to know some snack foods, we're the size of a pack of peanut butter crackers. I wouldn't know the the size of those because, you know, I don't mm-hmm. like them. Yeah, you don't like peanut butter. I don't. But yeah, I wish I did. I love peanut butter. Uh, mm. So good. But we went to the doctor and she was like, do you just feel him constantly all day long? Because he will not stop moving. I was like, yes, I do. Um, and like Ashley said, was it Skylar or Aria? Aria. Aria just in there swimming. Well, Preston's doing the same thing. Doing laps. Woo-hoo. Hello. Because he's on, he's up, down, left, up, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. And he got all that space in there. So he's just out there, back stroke, you know. <sighs> yeah. What's this front stroke, you know? Mm-hmm. Butterfly, maybe. Mm-hmm. Just getting it in. Doing it all. 
Do in Give it, it in. all. Best Give thing in. so far is the pregnancy pillow. The pregnancy Ooh. pillow is a game changer. Game changer. Ain't Let it. Let me tell you. And it's the cooling one. So everywhere you roll during the night, it's cool. Ooh, that's... Ooh, mine didn't have that. I mine ju- didn't have that. Let me preference. I love James Ham. I do. But why do you need a man? When you bought... When I bought this pregnancy... I mean, we've already procreated. And then now I got the pregnancy <laughs> pro. <laughs> like... I feel like he's done his job. You've done your job, sir. Mm. It is. There's a new sheriff in town, and it's the pregnancy even pillow. Even if you are not pregnant, you need to own this pillow. I yeah. kept mine for a while after yeah. I, and then it was just taking up too much space, and I was like, mm. "Gotta go, baby, gotta." Ah, uh, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Wow, a cooling. They really upgrade. I don't even think that mm-hmm. was out when I was pregnant, child, and it was only what mm-hmm. seven years ago. Oh. Like, so nice. Mm. See, I ordered new pillows. Well, not new. I got them maybe like a year ago. And like one side has a cooling side because I mm-hmm. tend to get hot in my sleep. So mm-hmm. one side has a cooling side and the other side's regular. Yeah. Just, a, yeah. just me imagining that like, oh, uh, The whole body? Mm. That's nice. <laughs> it's that's great. nice. That's, that's real nice. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. What's okay. your update? Um, I'm obsessed with making my own subs in a tub. What is that? So, do you remember on TikTok there was this craze with the um, vegetable chopper? Yes. And you pretty much make a sub. Like, everything that you would put in your sub, you just chop it in the chopper. And then you Mm -hmm. add the, like, oil, vinegar, oregano, and a little bit of mayo on top and mix it together. So, it's like a sandwich without the bread. So, without the carbs. I do remember this now. Okay. Yeah, I finally got my, my chopper. Came in the mail yesterday. Washed it. Made my first... For today. And it was good. It's delicious. See? And then you know how you got to have a sandwich with chips? So I had my protein mm-hmm. chips, my mm-hmm. wild protein chips on the side, yep. my chicken chips. And it was good. Because that was like your bread. That's kind of like essentially your bread. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. It was... I can't wait to have another one tomorrow. I just... Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm trying to make little changes in my life because as you guys know, I'm on a... A lifestyle change with mm-hmm. fitness and stuff. The girl's going on week three of six weeks in the gym, six days in the gym. Wow. So we're really doing our workout here. Mm-hmm. So when y'all see me outside this summer, just be like, she earned she did it. that. She did that. Mm-hmm. She earned that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Brooke and I both did the open last week. Yep. I got six rounds of my workout and Brooke got seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And she's like a real CrossFitter and I'm like new to the game. So it feels good that I'm like keeping you up with a good. whole pregnant woman. You did really good. I like literally took your advice though. I was like, okay, rest on the row. Rest on literally. the row. Literally. Did all the row, deadlifts unbroken, did all the jump ropes unbroken and then got right back on the row. And it's like, rest yep. on the row. Rest on the road. See, but after like round, I want to say after like round four, I was like, <sighs> like, and Tori was like, get on the bike. And I was, she was yep. like, get on the road. I was like, I, I just need a minute. I just need a minute. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, I don't know what this workout's going to be this week, mm-hmm. but it's got to have terrified. a weightlifting component and it's got to have some gymnastics in it. It's got to. Well, if you throw the gymnastics, give me the alternative now because. I'm going to physical therapy for my knees. So I'm yeah. not going to be a Simone Biles out here in these streets. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. It's just not going to happen for me. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. But what was I going to say? Oh, another thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So this TikTok, like, mm-hmm. told me that um I should watch this show on Netflix one day. I'm watching it. Because like okay. people are okay. So what's what I saw on TikTok is like people are mm-hmm. filming other people in airports. Like they're filming their screens and they're like, "Oh girl, you just wait." And then like they're filming that same person on the flight like crying because of some scene that's in this show. Mm-hmm. And it's a show, I'm not watching, a movie. It's a show. Okay. And I'm watching it, mm-hmm. and it's just moving so painfully slow. And I'm just like, okay, I know this is supposed to get good because TikTok said it was supposed to get good. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for it to get good. So if you've watched it, do I give up or do I keep going? How many episodes? 
It's a limited series. It's only like eight. Okay, so, okay. I mean, and I what can episode push are you in right now? Three, three. I feel like eight episodes, around like episode four, I feel like it's just going to take off. I feel okay. That's just my okay. thought process. Because you're not going to keep me hanging for more than five yeah. episodes and only eight episodes. Like, you got to... You got to get there. You got to get it. You got to get it together. Yeah. You got to get it so, together. Hmm. Okay. Oh, another update. So I do have a goal of 15 books to read, aka listen to this year. Mm -hmm. And I am currently on book number... Hold on. I'm on book number... Nope, that's my friends. Not my friends. Seven. You're halfway there. I know. I have been... I took like January off. Like January was not like an audiobook vibe for me. And then for some reason in February, I just went off. Yeah. So I, what are I you went, like? Are you still reading your literature? No. <laughs> 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 that and I can't even take um ownership of the word literature. Um, because my friend um that I used to work with, shout out to Marcy. Um, was like, oh, and she gave it that name. So I'm not reading. Okay. Um, I was into thrillers for a little bit, so I, yeah. I left. You know, I was reading my my spicy spicy books, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna need a little something, a little something spooky, a little mm -hmm. sp some spooky scary. So my thrillers also had some spice in it, they, not as much yeah. as you know I'm privy to. Um, so now I was in too much thrillers. I read like four of them in a row, and I was starting to get a little paranoid. To be like, oh, yeah. So I was like, mm -hmm. let me just take a break. Because I was reading Freedom McFadden. She got her new book, The Teacher, that just came out. Crazy. Oh, okay. Crazy. Okay. Like, so crazy that on Friday, um, we went to Philly to do a decorating class for my friend Britt's birthday. And me and Mia drove together. And mind you, I'm so addicted to audiobooks that anytime I'm in the car without my children, it's literally playing in my mm -hmm. car. Like, I, I need to hear it. If I'm at work and the kids are special... I have my AirPods in. I'm listening to my... Like, it's insane. It's kind of Yeah. Wild. So, Mia was listening. Mind you, I'm already, like, through the book. Like, I'm, like, probably, like, 65, 70% in. When she started listening, why did she go home, get the book, the audio... <laughs> the Because she had to finish yeah. it. Yeah. Finish the book. So, now she's on an audiobook wave. I'm just starting everybody on audiobooks because I can't sit and read. I can't. I just... I used to love to sit yeah. down and read, but now yeah. I'm just like, there's too much shit to do for me yeah. to just sit here and read this book. I need to be able to listen and clean. I need to be listening and cooking. Mm -hmm. I need to be listening and doing something. So Imagine how many books I could read with an hour commute both ways. Yeah. Mm. I finished I I one book. I started the book Saturday. Finished the book probably around like 11 that night. Like, so I, I read like I one book in a day. I get into it, though. I mean, I guess it's the same as a podcast. It is. And the current book I'm reading, I'm reading Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing? Let me make sure I got the right title. I don't want... Yes, I'm reading Fourth Wing right now. And the audio is a graphic audio. So what they say, essentially, is like you're listening to a movie. So mm. there's... Every person has a different... Like, there's a whole cast. Like, if they're walking outside, like, you could hear the footsteps in the background. They have, like... Ah. When they're, like, being romantic, there's, like, romantic music in the background. Like, the ambiance is set. It's literally like you're in a movie theater, but you cannot see... But you can hear it all. Right. And mm. I've never had a book like that before, and it's kind of changed my life. And the way I am running through this book, I think I started on Saturday. And I'm already, because they split it up into parts. So I finished mm -hmm. the first part of book one. And now I'm in the second part of book one. But I'm going through it. And the second one doesn't have a graphic audio. So I'm going to have to uh. listen to it like a regular audio book. And I'm kind of, I don't know how to feel about that. Because I'm, this is nice. Yeah, you got spoiled. Yeah. I, I did. I did. So I'm a little bit addicted to reading, aka listening to books right now. So if you have any suggestions... A book. Let her know. Let me know. Thrillers, you could throw some, you know, literature in there if you'd like. Mm -hmm. You know, I you know, I like to have a lot of things on my mm -hmm. wish list. So if I'm feeling, you know, just plick and pluck. So yeah. yeah. And like, mm -hmm. who do you listen on? Oh, so I listen on Audible. Okay, so Audible, if you want to sponsor us, let's do that. Uh, please, because 
the amount of books I purchased last month. Yeah. I get one credit a month. One credit is one book. Last month, I read... So essentially, you could read 12 books in a month for free. What? If you get one credit a month for a book... Yes. You could read 12 books in a month, technically for free. Well, in a year. Oh, a year. I meant a year. That's what I meant. (laughs) I was like... I meant a year. I sure (laughs) did. I did. I meant a year. Yeah, last Mm -hmm. month I read one, two, three, and I started a fourth book last month. So then I had to switch because I'm like, I still have Audible, but I use that for my one credit, my book that I know my other app doesn't have. So then I downloaded the Libby app where you could put in your library card information and they have like audiobooks and books that you could read. But the holds on those are like months and the books aren't as easy accessible. Right, okay. So I've been on there, which is where I found the last one, two, three, four, five books I've read. Hmm. Yeah. So it's, I'm going back and forth, you know, between the two. So once my Audible credit hits, oh, tomorrow. Oh, it hits tomorrow. Praise there you go. Um, so I'm going to get my next book. I got to pick that out. But yeah, I'm. If you see me with my AirPods on or you see me with my headphones on, just know I'm listening to an audiobook. Just know. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Well, let's get into our... Estudiante Estrella. Yes. Okay. So, our star student today has been our star student before. Mm. Yes. I am doing a repeat, but... It's a different review. It is a different review. And she emailed us her first one, and Mm -hmm. now she left us a review. So it's like two different platforms. And so, Mm -hmm. you know, all that work, she definitely deserves the credit. Yeah, we got to give credit where credit is due. Exactly. And it's Charity Kearns. We've said her name before. Yes, Miss Charity Kearns. Yeah. And her title is, I told you I'd give you your five stars. So obviously, it's a five-star review. Yeah. I was your star student a while back. I sent a review by email and promised when I figured out how to leave a review by podcast, I would. Well, here I am. I still absolutely love your podcast. I listen to it when I go to work and back. If I ever miss an episode, you best believe I'm going to binge listen. Keep working hard, ladies. Y'all have a big future ahead. I hope so. Me too. I do too. Because the day that I could be like, here is my resignation. I'm going to be a professional podcaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the day exactly. I knew. I know that you know we really made it. You know, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the day when I know we really made it. We've done something. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. this cruise is really gonna like go yeah. off. I feel it's like gonna we're great. gonna get a lot of new n- listeners from there because mm-hmm. they're all gonna be teachers, and you know, yeah. like ninety percent of them will go listen to true crime. So right, that's gonna be fire. And I just, yeah, and I, I just, just wish like I. I keep telling myself, like, well, I keep, like, fighting with myself. Honestly, I'm like, why do I not make TikToks about our podcast more often? Like, mm-hmm. that's such a good platform. I don't know why. I have no idea. I can't tell you why. I wish that people would encourage me to do so. Maybe I would. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because I'm so precious about our podcast that, like, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I always... I we're always like, yeah, we're going to do and put it out there. And then we just never, like... Mm-hmm. I'm not even, like as TikTok-y as I used to be. Like, Brooke Me is still going right now. strong in the I'm TikTok. Not, like, you say not. no, but then you still got a video that you be like, oh, this is, let me throw this on there. I'm like, okay, I ain't got nothing to throw on there. Granted, tons of videos in my drafts. Yeah. Tons of them. And I'm just like, ah. Work is just so work right now that like, yes. I don't even get my planning and that's when I used to film and then I'm definitely not staying after and then no, I'm no, prepping right. before. It's just a lot. But I have some content yeah. that's going to come out for spring break. Uh, me and Medley are going to make some content while we're skiing. So nice. I'm excited to have like some content. Yeah. And I know this episode's coming out not next week, the week after next week. Yeah. So I'll so, just be getting back. Yeah. So she's already been skiing. I still mm-hmm. have 11 days until spring break. So, yeah. you know, end of March. That's going to be my time, y'all. There you that's going to be my time. Yeah, praise him. Mm -hmm. Praise him. I can't wait. 
But yeah, um, Charity Curves. Um, I thank you so much for your review. This gold stars for you. Bing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you had me double last week. Now it's Ashley's turn to tell us the story. Boom, 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 boom. So sit down, shut up. The murder is about to begin. Ahora. Um, first, I want to apologize if you guys can hear my um, smoke detector <laughs> in the background. Um, I just put in a maintenance request, so it should be changed by the next time I record. I would hope. Yeah. I would hope. I would hope. So every time you hear a beep, you know, maybe take a sip of your drink or something. I don't know. Yeah. Just have a good time. Make it, make it a fun Caffeinate up. Yeah. You know, water, whatever you drink it on. Maybe a little bubbly, maybe a little mm-hmm. olipop, whatever you, whatever tickets mm-hmm. your fancy. Just every time you hear it, take a sip. Okay. Yep. Anywho. We are back with another TikTok discovered case. And there isn't much on this case. It's a pretty, another open and shut one. However, it still needs to be taught because not only is this a case involving a minor, it's also a case involving one of our very own. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Teacher. So this, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. And I know we don't really do happy hours anymore. And I'm glad y'all ain't really come at us for that. uh, Brooke is pregnant. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Being thrown through life, you know, yeah. we're gonna get back to it one day. You know, we're we gonna get back to it, just when not this, right now. When this baby pop out, bring me all the white claw. <laughs> I got you. All I of got it. you, girl. All of it. I got you, girl. I got you. I'm gonna bring it by the boatload. Yep. Literally. Because yep. James mm-hmm. got a boat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, this may not be a happy hour case, but we are talking about a teacher today. So, let's just jump right in. So today's lesson begins on February 7th, 2024 in San Antonio, Texas at Brandeis High School. Alfred, a.k.a. Mr. Fred Jimenez, a 73-year-old instructional assistant in his applied learning environment classroom. Okay, 73? What is is applied learning? It's like, um, it's like a special education setting. Okay, so like they're learning about like Life. Um, I don't really know if it's about life. I just know it is a special education classroom. Okay. I'm not really All sure right. what they're learning in there. I'm assuming it's a small group setting, you know, minimal. Okay. And they have the instructional assistant in there. So, you know. Okay. So one thing about Mr. Fred is that he loved helping children with disabilities. And he worked because he wanted to, not because he had to. I mean, he's 73. Right. You, you passed retirement age, buddy. Yeah. I'm just speaking for myself. I'm not going to be like Mr. Fred. It's not me. Not but if you're going to be like Mr. Fred, be like Mr. Fred. I'm mm-hmm. not going to be like Mr. Fred. Me I'll probably neither. be done like the next two years. Um, yep. <laughs> you sooner than later, you know? Um, Get out of there. Gone. Yeah, I got to go. So his particular classroom contains students with moderate to severe cognitive disabilities. Okay. So he's in a self-contained room. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Now I'm I'm seeing it. You got it? The pictures come yep. together. The puzzle mm-hmm. pieces are. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. There isn't much information on exactly what happened in the room that day. All that was disclosed was that Mr. Fred was attempting to redirect a student in his class. At some point, he fell and suffered a head injury. Oh, I saw the. Yeah, okay. 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 With you. I'm following you. Mm-hmm. I don't know this case. I saw Eddie comedy be comedy or something. Do like a... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So staff within Brandeis High School immediately came to his aid and he was transported by ambulance to receive medical attention for his injuries. On February 19th, just 12 days after the incident occurred, Mr. Fred unfortunately died from his injuries. Mm. Dr. John Kraft, the Northside Independent School District Superintendent, and Dr. Jerry Berger, the principal of Brandeis High School, released the following statement following Mr. Fred's death. 
The Brandeis High School community is saddened to report the passing of Alfred Mr. Fred Jimenez, a valuable Northside family member since 2014. Mr. Jimenez served in the role of instructional assistant in the campus's applied learning environment, ALE, classroom, helping to meet the specialized needs of students with moderate to severe cognitive disabilities. The entire Bronco family is grieving his loss. His impact on the campus was far-reaching and impacted students and staff both in and out of the classroom. Our heartfelt condolences go out to the Jimenez family during this challenging time. We remain dedicated to providing support to Mrs. Jimenez and her family. In addition, counselors will also be available to support students and staff at the campus. We ask that you keep those affected in your thoughts and prayers. That was very, you know, very You know, good. it was very well written. Good, good. That's a very much PR statement. It's as chat oh, GPT yeah. as you can get it. Um, yeah. Okay. I appreciate the thoughts and prayers. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. are you investigating what happened? Are you, what are you, and what are you doing for Miss Jimenez? Like, what, what are you doing for what her? What specifically are you right. doing? Yeah. Like, because it really does suck in a situation like that mm-hmm. where the only way you get support and actually see anything from a school is when you have to sue them. I shouldn't have to sue you for, to, for you to do the right thing. Yeah. I just, I that shouldn't. Correct. Yeah. I but agree. then again, that's my fault in humanity is I assume everyone would do what I do, right? That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's how you become disappointed. Yeah. But you're, you're a school. You have local funds. Mm-hmm. What did you do to help this woman before she, had to, before she felt she had to take actions into her own hands? That we don't know. Right. I'll tell you that. We don't know. While the school district could not speak on specifics pertaining to the student's behavior, they did say that the student involved was not in Jimenez's class. So this is a student who, you're not even supposed to be here. So but are, again, is the student involved though, special ed? I'm going to assume so. But possibly, but I don't maybe know. not. Could not be. There's literally been nothing released about this child. We just know that the room that this happened in was not the room this child was supposed to be in. Yes. Mm, Okay. And it's just like, well, why was he in the class? Right. What would, you know, like, why would you just throw him in there? Mm Mm-hmm. Because y'all probably already have routines and procedures in place. And then you throw somebody else into the mix. Mm Mm-hmm. And that throws off routines and procedures. Especially you don't know these routines and procedures. Right. And especially a self-contained room. Like, they are very procedural. Like, mm-hmm. you, I mean, I've seen our self-contained room. Like, my baby yeah. is in that room. Like, I, the mm-hmm. little, I love this kid. I had him mm-hmm. last year. And it is very this hour, this hour, this hour, mm-hmm. this hour. Mm-hmm. You, line leader, things like every, you know, mm-hmm. it is a... What do you call it? It's geared up. It's oiled up yeah. and ready to go. Like yeah, it's ready to go. It's a well-oiled machine. At this yeah, time, every day, we're doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Unfit. Yeah. It's 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 wild. I would love to know why that student was in the class yeah. and if that student um um was special needs. Right. I'm a, right. I'm gonna assume that he was that they were because I don't know if it's a, a boy or girl. I don't know. I'm gonna assume that they were, but I just want to know why they were in that room if mm-hmm. that's not the room that they were assigned to. Like what happened in their room that sent them to this mm-hmm. room? You know what I mean? Were there multiple? But also, self-contained kids and IEP kids are very different. IEP kids are in general classrooms with a co-teacher yeah. and pull-out services. Self-contained kids are in a room with other all self-contained is all day, right? All day. So, and the only time that they go and is like um, lunch. really intermingle is like lunch and uh, related yeah. arts. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm curious. I don't know if this kid is general ed. I don't know if he just yeah. has an IP or if he was mm-hmm. a part of the self-contained cohort. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On February 22nd, the medical examiner spoke with one source and revealed that Mr. Fred's death was due to blunt force trauma to the head and it was ruled as a homicide. Mm. You know? 
The thing is, is once the medical examiner writes that on that piece of paper, you have to investigate accordingly. And while no charges were announced, the school district stated that the campus police were investigating further into the incident. Mind you, this is February 22nd. It is March Mm -hmm. 12th. Wow. So it's very, very recent. Mm -hmm. Very, yes. Wow. The Northside American Federation of Teachers, NFT, in San Antonio blamed the Texas government for Mr. Fred's death. One source stated that they released a statement saying that the governor, Greg Abbott, and lawmakers have undermined teacher protections in schools by not pushing for proper training and adequate staffing. Accurate. All accurate. All mm-hmm. accurate. I know in my building, like, some people are trained to, like, handle kids who, like, escalate. Yeah. Yeah, de-escalation like, training. Yeah. But that doesn't go for everybody. Like, I feel like if you have a child that exhibits this in your classroom, that you should have that training. Granted, I don't want to do those things. Like, I... But also, even if you trained me and something happens... My human reaction is fight or flight. And yeah. if I'm fighting, I'm not remembering any of those techniques from that YouTube 100%. video you showed me. A hundred percent. And then and then you also have to think like a lot of those situations, sometimes the the person gets blamed. Like, well, why did you do that? Well, he was doing X, Y, and Z yeah. and he needed to be uh, like mm-hmm. de-escalated and detained. So, right. you know what I mean? I don't ever want to put myself in a situ- sticky situation like that mm-hmm. because I fear that it'll be like, well, you didn't have to do all that. And it's just like, well, in the time, I felt it was necessary because Mm -hmm. this kid was throwing desks. This desk, this child was Mm -hmm. hitting other students. You know what I mean? And it's just like, for things like that, I don't... Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't... mm -mm. It's just Mm -hmm. something I don't want to do. I just remember my... One of my first teaching jobs, I would tell the kids, I was like, "Um, just want to let you know, because at the time I was... Mrs. Brandt. I was just like, I just wanted to let you know that in Mrs. Brandt's class, Miss Brandt, Mrs. Brandt doesn't break up fights. Mm-hmm. So best believe I'm a call for somebody and y'all are gonna figure it out on your own. Um, so if you're getting severely beat up, Miss Brandt is not gonna interfere because yeah. I didn't come to school to possibly get myself beat up. Cause yeah. one thing y'all not gonna do is hit me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> one thing is for sure, and one thing is for certain, you're not gonna put your hands on Miss mm-hmm. Brandt. There's because. been, like, almost two fights outside of my room since I found out I was pregnant. And, like, I walk outside my room, I stand in my door, and I was like, guys, I don't know what's happening, but if any punches are thrown, I'm not getting in it. I got a baby, so just keep it moving, okay? Let's just keep it moving. Yeah, I always have an imaginary baby because I have I think there was one fight in my entire career that I've ever broken up because leaking. Mm. leaking and hair mm. was being pulled out like by the b- braids pulled mm. out. I was like, ah, I got to enter. That was the only yeah. fight I have ever broken up because I was like, dang, that's real, real bad. That's yeah. real, real bad. And I'm, I'm going to need to save her. I'm going to need to save her life. And I sure did. Mm-hmm. Um, here we go. Mm. Melina Espiritu Azokar, the president of the Northside AFT, stated the following. My heart has broken more every phone call in recent days as educator after educator has told me something similar. That could happen to me. And in these days, 100%. Mm -hmm. Maybe back then you were like, oh my gosh, it's so preposterous. I can't believe these kids are fighting. But these days, it Mm -hmm. is so rapid. Yeah. Like every day a teacher is getting assaulted. Uh, You know, Mm -hmm. things are happening every single day. So 100%, that Mm -hmm. could have been, you know? Yeah. And that's scary because when I signed up to a teacher, I didn't sign up to risk my life. No, I did not sign up to potentially be Abby Zwerner or this teacher or, yeah, no, heck no. No. I'm like, "Mm -mm." and And for people to be like, well, that's part of the job. You signed up for this. No, it's not. I I didn't sign up for that. Because my generation was not doing this. (laughs) No. Absolutely not. Like, some of the things that my students do, or like, why do we have to do this? Or like, I don't want to. Like, that Mm -hmm. never happened when I was in school. And when it happened, it was like one or two kids, and they were immediately removed from the Mm -hmm. classroom, and things were handed to them. You know what I mean? It was was detentions. It was, you're going to stay after school and make up this work. We had paddling. Like, oh. 
Oh. Like we had paddling in my high school. Oh, I did I I mm. Yeah. I did I didn't get that. <laughs> well, we did. I, I got suspended one time, but I ain't I didn't get paddled. Oh wow. You paddled. ever got paddled? I never got I mean I got paddled in elementary school, but not high school. Yeah. So they paddled your whole schooling career? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we they still paddling pad- in our school. Yeah. They still paddling today? Yeah, we still have paddling in our school. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I bet that would get some kids to act up real quick, like to get their mm-hmm. stuff together real quick. Right. Real quick. Yep. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. So, mm. Wow. That, that took me, like, because I thought that was back <laughs> in the days. And then, like, no. Like, you was younger than me, so I'm just mm-hmm. like, whoa, <laughs> paddling. Like a wooden paddle? Yeah. Like, yeah. how how forceful was that? I'm just so intrigued. Mm. Like, was it like a whop hop or is it just like a boop? Well, okay, it depends on who paddled you. Okay, so we had, I had Miss Nichols, and she was a teacher, mm. and she had a paddle in her room. In the and room? I remember, in, in her classroom. And I mm. remember Malin Sheffield, Colin, I'm name dropping today. Malin Sheffield fell asleep in her class. And like, I'm, Miss Nichols is one of the reasons I am a math teacher. Let me just preface that. Like, I love Miss Nichols. Like, I love uh-huh. math. I loved her class. She loved me. She did not uh-huh. love Malin. She did not love Malin. <laughs> okay. Um, Malin fell asleep and it was the middle of a test. And that would have How do you paddled, fall asleep in the middle of a test? That would have paddle came down on the desk so hard it splintered and wood like blew by my eye. It broke. You almost had a splinter in your eye. It was in. Same. But then we had Coach Finley who would paddle because he was our, uh, what's it called? Discipline. Dean of Discipline. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was, same kid, Malin. Malin um, was, knew he was about to get paddled for something. So he went to the bathroom, stuffed paper towels down his pants, padded his pants, went and got paddled, came back, bragged about it. Coach Finley found out about it, made him come back to his office and get another paddling, but checked his pants first. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Malin out here, a citizen of society, though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see? See? The, the, things need yep. to be changing because the way... Tell me. Yeah. I don't... I would never paddle a child. I, I, no, would I wouldn't ne- either. Even, oh, not my... I would I not. Pa- like, no, no. Like, I would not, even if my school was like, yeah, you can paddle. I'd be like, you take nope. that paddle to your office, lock it up. I, I don't want it. I, yeah. I don't want that responsibility. Because, again, you're not going to flip this on me. Like, you're not mm-hmm. going to do this. Like, I don't, I don't want to no part. I just want to do my job and I want to go home. Um, mm-hmm. But things, I was just talking to somebody about this the other day. Like, we really need to start inconveniencing these parents. Because that's yep. where the change is going to be seen. If your mm-hmm. child is acting up, make that child come to school with their parent. And mm-hmm. they may not return to school until mm-hmm. they come with their parent. Correct. Because the minute you inconvenience a parent, the minute you affect their money, mm-hmm. yep. that's mm-hmm. when the real change is going to happen. Because there are yeah. some kids that I know that their parents are really like, yeah, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, who's the parent here? Right. Because... You can do what you need to do. Take the baby off the game. They not doing Mm -hmm. their work. Take that game away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to suck because they're going to be all up in your face and annoying, but you need to prove a point. Mm -hmm. You've got to prove a point because this is why they walk all over y'all. We have a kid and his mom came up to school and was like, I really want um, strong male figures in my son's life, blah, blah, blah. The PE coach, football coach, the history teacher, all of them, they like invested in this kid, right? Every time they like rode this kid's ass and like got onto him and got in his face and was like trying to correct his behavior, male to male, dominant to dominant, alpha to alpha, like trying to teach you to be a better man. The mom, because the kid would get so butt hurt, the mom would like take him and get a new pair of Jordans and take him to go make him feel better. All you taught him, you literally, like you taught him that the way the man was treating him and trying to instill in him is not correct, but I'll make it better. So the men gave up. And I hate to say that. I hate to say that. But like, 
you asked us to do this because he does not have a man in the home. You asked us to help make him a better man because he's a good athlete. But with this mentality, he ain't going nowhere. And yet every time we tried to make him a good man, you intervened. Yes, you're his mother, but you intervened to coddle him, coddle him. Yeah, let him stir in that. Let him feel that. Let him feel that hurt. Let him be like, dang, he really like read me. Like he read the mess out of me. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Do better next time. A hundred percent. That's why I tell my kids all the time, like the way my students act right now is because they've had years of babying and years mm-hmm. of coddling. I'm not a coddler. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Even with my own children. Like, I, you know, I'm a little bit, you know, you know, I'm their mom. So, you know, you know when the time mm-hmm. needs, I'm like, okay, okay. But like, yeah. Like y'all tattletaling, don't come to me. Figure it out. Problem solving yourself. Because my kids in my class, they don't know how mm-hmm. to problem solve. Mm-hmm. When something is difficult or they don't understand something, they cry. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. In third grade. Like the masses, like Mm -hmm. y'all upset over over math. And it's just like, you need to feel this Mm -hmm. so you know what you need to do next time. But not even that. I don't know the answers on this test because I wasn't paying attention and I was fooling around. The next time, I'm going to pay attention so I don't feel like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, Do you know I, grades I, were due today? Grades were due today. Today. Yeah. Submitted. Ooh. Three emails from parents. Can you round my kid's grade up to an eight? No. Um, and, uh, no. Can I, is there any work no. I can do? No. 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 Because where was this energy? All marking period. Right. Where was it? You because can see your kid's grades at any given time. Anytime. Anytime. Any given time. Now that it's the end and the grades is due... I would have been like, unfortunately, grades are due today and everything is finalized. He can try again next marking period. Mm -hmm. Please refer to this website if you'd like to look up your kids' grades Mm -hmm. to make sure we do this in advance because there's this is out of my control at this point. Have a great evening. Yeah. No. Have a great evening. There's nothing that you can do. And Mm -hmm. like, you know, one of the big things that our old principal was big on was if they had 78s or 79s or 69s or 68s, like he would like make us round them. And he's gone. And this is the third quarter. It's the Mm -hmm. third quarter. You're about to be in the high school. Mm -hmm. So I left those bad boys. I'm sorry if you got a 79. You don't deserve that one point. You should have tried harder. No, I'm I'm saying. No, I'm I'm saying. I'm not giving you a B because you didn't earn a B. You didn't earn the B. And and let's be clear, because people are going to be like, well, you graded the work. I graded your work. Your work. What you turned in. Mm-hmm. And this is what you were awarded. Mm-hmm. There's no, this is why I get paid the little bucks to teach yeah. you because I know, I know the stuff. Yeah. I'm doing what I need to do to get you to learn stuff, but you choosing mm-hmm. to lose your papers. Yeah. I had to go into my kids about it today. Like, do you think that Ms. Brant says to take out your green folder and put it in your green folder that that means to shove it inside your desk? Because mm-hmm. we're working on a whole writing narrative. And one of my kids lost his packet. Now you need to start from the beginning and you will not get extended time. Mm-hmm. You won't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's just like, okay. All right. Keep that same energy, big dog. Yeah. Well, I mean, I had I had a girl today, the English teacher emailed me and she's like, hey, if they're not doing anything serious in your class, like she needs to finish her benchmark or I'm about to give her a zero. So her I went zero. to her and I was like, hey, you need to go to so-and-so's class and finish your benchmark. And she goes, no, I'm okay with a zero. I said, no, 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 no. We're not okay with a zero. And the fact that you just said that is ridiculous. Get up, go finish your benchmark. If I had told Angie Dozier that I'm okay with, oh my, the belt would not have come out faster. I'm okay with a zero? No. On a benchmark, a final exam. I'm okay with a zero? Then what are you, what else are you okay? What else are you going to quit in life and be okay with? And you know what's crazy? Because today in the car, and I'm sorry, we're going off on a little bit of we a tangent. Are. This is a short episode. Like, I, I don't have much left, so we can add a little bit more, you know, conversations in here. But 
I just had this conversation with Skylar in the car because she was like, mommy, why do we have to go to school every day and learn? I said, because you don't know everything. Yes, mm-hmm. I do. I said, you know everything that you're supposed to know in first grade. I said, she said, I'm very smart. I said, you are very smart. Mm-hmm. You're first grade smart. And then next year, you're going to be second grade smart. And then next year, you're going to be... She said, no, I know all the things. I said, Skylar, if you were to come into my third grade classroom tomorrow, you would not be able to keep up with what my students are doing because you don't have what you need to be able Mm -hmm. to do the work that I'm doing. Well, uh, well, I'm still smart. I said, again, I know you're smart. Mm -hmm. First grade smart, baby. First grade Mm -hmm. smart. And then she want to go on talking about, I want to be a pilot when I grow up so I can take people to different countries. And I said, you know what? That's amazing. That's wonderful. And I said, you know, you need to go to pilot school for that, right? She was like, what? I was like, yep, after you're done with regular school, you got to go to pilot school so you can learn how to fly a plane and take people to other countries. She was like, oh. I was like, yeah. The learning Mm -hmm. never stops. It doesn't. Never stops. So let's please get used to it, honey Mm -hmm. bunny. Thank Mm -hmm. (laughs) y'all. Yep. But she's never said she wanted to be a pilot before, so that's different. Kind of like that. I like that for her. Mm-hmm. I like that for me. Free flies. Ah! The, <laughs> yep. The field needs more women pilots. They do. They do. And Scott would be so funny. I could just picture her being one of those corny ones <sighs> who'd be like making the, <laughs> the corny jokes. Yeah. The corny jokes on the plane that everybody'd be like, oh my God. And she would probably yep. be cracking up in that cockpit. Yep. Like, <laughs> I really knocked them dead. Girl, they were sleeping. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> they wasn't sleeping. They, they just wanted their free pretzels. It's Unless it's spirit, because you ain't getting no snacks on it. Nothing. Nothing. My baby ain't going to fly for spirit. No no, no shade. No shade to the spirit. Place, but. Definitely shade. We shade. Yeah, because y'all need to give us some snacks for free. Like, we come shade. On. We shade. You make us pay for the bags. You make us pay for the seat. <laughs> you, make, you make us pay for the air. You make us pay for the seat belt. Like, you make us pay for a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Trifling. Anywho. <laughs> yep. We, we went off a tangent, but at the end of the day, you know... This is a kid's fault, and what happened to this man is a kid's fault. Point blank. Mm-hmm. So. I would say it is a kid's fault, but like, how am I going to word this? Like, a child did do it, but we also have to take into account this kid. We don't know, but we don't know. I'm assuming that this child had moderate to severe cognitive disabilities. Okay, but. I was listening to a podcast not too long ago, so I'm glad you brought that Mm -hmm. up. Yes, and I don't want to come off insensitive. I do not want to come off insensitive. I'm a very sensitive person when it comes to the the, the special ed programs and all of that Mm -hmm. and the kids with special needs. I love those babies. However, Mm -hmm. comma, we were talking about this at lunch, 40%, 40% of inmates in American prisons are children, were children, with IEPs or disabilities. The law doesn't care. No, not at all. So I say that to say this. Mm -hmm. Our job as a school, not just teachers, as a school, as a unity, Mm -hmm. a school, a building, a safe place, whatever. Mm -hmm. Our job is to one, educate these kids. However, when you get kids that you know you are not going to be able to teach the standards to, you need to then teach them, okay, you did a negative behavior Here's your consequence. And it needs Absolutely. to build. And it needs to be things that they understand. No, you don't need to go straight to ISS. No, you don't need to go straight to suspension because they're not understanding. They're, okay, let's do a sticker chart. Let's do cash bucks. Let's do, I mean, even if these are high school kids, if they have cognitive disabilities, like we need to teach them bad behavior does not get rewarded. And that's what kind yes. of what me and Ashley were just going off on a tangent about. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, when they leave us, and they do become adults, and they commit a crime, the judge doesn't care. Thank you. Thank you. you. They don't. No. They don't. You broke the law. You did. You get this crime. He's not going to ask to see your IEP. And I'm not not being insensitive. I'm telling you facts. He's not going to ask. He's Mm -hmm. not. They're not Mm going to have a manifestation meeting for you Mm -hmm. to determine if your actions were due to your disability. They're mm-hmm. not. Your lawyer mm-hmm. can present that. Mm-hmm. But again, 40%, 40% of inmates in American prisons are were IEP children with disabilities. I believe, I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. And that's why I have such an issue with a lot of like... Granted, it's important. Like, social-emotional learning is very important. It is. 
It is. It's very important. But we're pushing like restorative practices. Like, but the way it's being presented isn't the way restorative practices are supposed to be done. It's anything being presented in the public education system the way it's supposed to be done? No, okay. not at all. Because it's just like, if you don't do your work in class, in my brain, you're having recess right now in my mm-hmm. class. Granted, some people are going to be like, don't take away the baby's recess. Don't do it. Here's the thing. What else am I supposed to take away? Mm-hmm. When else is a free time that children have to make up the work that they didn't do in my class? Mm-hmm. Because after school, I'm not going to get paid for staying after nope. school. I'm sorry. My time is money these days. My time mm-hmm. my time is money. Mm-hmm. And some of y'all might be like, oh my gosh, Ms. Brett. look. No. No, I'm no. not working for free. I'm, so, I'm just not going to do it. Me I'm neither. not going to do it. During lunch, I'm on lunch duty. So mm-hmm. I can't do it during then. So when's the other logical time that I'm going to have you make up this work? Because I'm not giving you extended time. You chose right. not to do this work. Mm-hmm. Imagine if I came to work and chose not to teach you. Mm-hmm. What would happen to me? Mm-hmm. Correct. I would be put on, a, you know, probably a, a support plan. And then if I continue to not do my work, I would be fired. You'd be gone. Yeah. yeah. I tell my kids all the time, we both have jobs when we come here. My job is to teach you. Your job is to receive my learning. Mm-hmm. And if you are unable to receive my learning, or you don't understand, it is your responsibility to advocate for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you don't advocate for yourself, I'm not a mind reader. I'm not that talented of a human being, or else I would be making way more money. (laughs) Right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So you need to make that known. If you're not making that known, granted, I can only do so much. I'm one human being with Mm -hmm. a class of 22. Like, Mm -hmm. there's a lot of you up in here. Yep. But y'all need to know that your actions have consequences. You don't do your work. Oh, best believe there's going to be another time for, for you to do it. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be another time for me. Point blank, period. Mm-hmm. That's why I go so hard in the beginning of the year. Right. With expectations. That's why I go so hard. Every little thing, mm, sorry. Oh, you didn't do your morning work? You could do it at a recess. Because they need to know, yeah, it's morning work. 100%. Way to get your brain ready for the day. But it's work nonetheless. Yes, it is. You don't mm-hmm. do it, we're going to do it at recess. Right. Yep. So you know the importance of getting your work done because it's important. Mm-hmm. So I yeah. agree. Anyway, we're back to um, Melina, the president mm-hmm. of the Northside AMT. Mm-hmm. So she goes on to say that Mr. Fred and the student are not to blame for this incident occurring, but the real blame should be put on public schools for being severely underfunded. Again, yes, we are in a teacher shortage. And it... Mm-hmm. I saw a TikTok the other day that was like, we're not in a teacher shortage. We're not in a shortage of teachers. Teachers are just fed up. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. We are, we are fed up with being given things that are unattainable mm-hmm. in the time span that we have in front yeah. of kids. So they're finding other jobs. And I don't blame them. Correct. Like, when are you going to give public schools more money? Like, mm-hmm. we're coming out of our own pockets for a lot of the stuff that we're doing. And yes, it's still not enough. Mm-hmm. Okay? Like, mm. Her exact words were, the villains in this story sit in the governor's mansion and the state capitol, far away from the consequences of their continual undermining and endangerment of schools. Why was that so hard for me? Uh. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you did it though. I did. Northside AFT requested the following from the school district and lawmakers. Robust training for all staff members in de-escalation techniques. Adequate staffing levels in all student support positions, particularly in self-contained special education classrooms. Widespread access to mental health support for staff, students, and families. First of all, if any profession should have therapy, For Mm -hmm. free. I agree. It should be teachers. It should be nurses. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I consider myself a first responder. You know, not not a first responder, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. I'm on the front lines. You know what I mean? Like, we out here teaching the future doctors, teachers, you know, every person in this world has had a teacher. So we are Mm -hmm. very important. You know what I'm saying? The fact that I'm still paying for therapy. Yep. And I will pay every I will pay every time. Yep, me too. I will pay every time. Me Would too. Would I like it to be free? 100%. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. But the fact, like, who do we need to talk to? 
because I will have a sit down with you right now. Mm -hmm. I also think that they need to add in a teacher plan. I think that there needs to be, okay, so, because some districts require like, you have to go to the doctor when you have a, use a sick day. You have to prove that, that you used a sick day for a sick day. I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm a grown Mind ass adult. If I tell you that I'm sick, I am sick. Okay. Yes. And then your personal days, you can legally do whatever you want without proof of anything. Like you can go to Disney World. You took a personal day. They cannot ask you anything. Cannot. Well, I think that a third category should be a mental health day. Like, oh. I, no, nothing's wrong with me physically, mm-hmm. but. I can't give you my best today because I can't take care of me. So I'm going to take a day. And if that day is me laying in the bed for 24 hours, then so be it. Don't bother me. Don't call me. Don't ask what I'm doing. Don't question mm-hmm. my mental health day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my and previous not- job, when I used to put in days, like sick days, I would put in the notes, mental health day. I want, I want you to know yeah. that this, I'm not out. Mm-hmm. I'm out because... Yeah. I'm not 100%. Mm-hmm. I'm not 100% to give my students what I need to give them. And I need you to be aware of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I need you to yeah. understand. Yeah. So, figure that out. That and, like, the gym. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Because, like, that's mental health support for me. Mm-hmm. Like, going to the gym helps my mental health. Me so too. So, I feel like there should be discounts. Like, why am I paying... Ninety they something nurses, dollars they for have me. Nursing discounts for everything. Oh, and first responders discounts. I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, get on the wave. Start throwing teachers in there, because we would be so appreciative. Mm-hmm. We would, because we're already making three cents a day. So mm-hmm. we would just really appreciate that those extra mm-hmm. steps, so we can be healthy, um, and in our right minds to teach mm-hmm. the youth of America. Yeah, Thank you. yeah. They also ask for comprehensive safety protocols tailored to the unique needs of each classroom setting, which all of that stuff sounds great. Is it going to be rewarded to them? Probably not. But a lot of things are promised that are never actually rewarded. (laughs) So there you go. Yes. Mr. Fred's funeral was held on February 26th at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church in Helotes, Texas. I hope I said that right. It looks like hello taste to me. One source stated the following. His son says he wants his father to be remembered as an outgoing man who loved to cook, help his community, and spend time with the people he loved. Mm, That's really sweet. And that is today's lesson on Alfred, a.k.a. Mr. Fred Jimenez. A.k.a. our event session. AKA, we were chatting. But it was all relevant, I feel like. It was. It because was. a lot of this can be avoided. Yeah, 100%. This if can they be would avoided. have had the proper training that yes. they needed in that room, if they mm-hmm. would have probably had more staff members. Because mm-hmm. again, I don't know the student. Cameras. To, I, don't know the, yeah. I don't know the school, but cameras for investigation yeah. purposes. Mm-hmm. I don't know like the mm-hmm. student to teacher ratio, but like, right. it's not enough. Like, right. Mm-hmm. It's it's not enough. Like we have a referendum going um to hopefully get three new buildings in our district among other things. And if it doesn't pass, like our they're we're not going to get the new building and they're still building in my area, building housing, which means housing comes with new families, families come with children. Mm-hmm. So they're right. saying our class sizes are going to rise. Let my class list get to 30 kids in a class. I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. There's no way that I can manage 30 kids in a room, mm-hmm. all of their needs, especially depending on the special ed, pop- special ed population in that mm-hmm. room. Right. Like, there's mm-hmm. no way I can do a good job overall with 30 plus kids in my class. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way. Because the okay. genetic makeup of my class currently oh. right now, a good chunk of them are below average or below grade level. Below grade level, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm still, like, running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Like, oh, let me do CVC words Mm -hmm. with you. Oh, let's do the CH blend with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get your E's and your I sounds mixed up. Let's work on that a little bit. Yeah. And I have 22 students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm I'm on squaring two-digit numbers, like 14 to the second power. Literally okay. had to literally had to go back and show my kids 
how to use the area model to multiply. Mm -hmm. Why am I, as the eighth grade teacher, reviewing multiplication? Mm -hmm. Why? They should come to me and be able to multiply by themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, if you need a marker, I will give you a marker and you can write it on your desk, but you should be able to do the steps Mm -hmm. by yourself. I should not have to remind you, what do we do first? Yeah. Because that's what I that's what I do now. Like even with um we were doing a strategy to multiply by nines, the tens minus one strategy, which mm-hmm. I learned oh, so fun. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. And I still had to tell my kids, like, if you don't know the subtraction problem, put it on your paper. And I still have kids going to the hundredth place and mm-hmm. subtracting there first. And I'm like, yeah. you can't subtract in the hundredth place, baby. You start in the ones, or it's zero minus three. And they're like, oh, that's three. No. If I and I always have to say, if I have zero pieces of candy, can I give you three? No. So what do we need to do? Borrow. Then I have some kids borrowing from the bottom number. And I'm just like, we don't yeah. have these prerequisite skills. No. How did you get here? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. How and why did you get here? Because mm-hmm. this is too much for you. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to make it a little bit manageable for you. Mm-hmm. And I can't. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's very hard. The hardest job I ever did had outside of motherhood. (laughs) It's a lot. I asked my kids today, I said, what continent do you think math first appeared on? Ooh. And they said, Germany. I said, that's not a continent. When I tell you, I still have kids who don't know that they live in the United States or in Delaware. Mm -hmm. Like, they think the Mm -hmm. state is the town that they live in. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. best believe, I'll be asking Skylar, where we live? What state do we live in? What town do we live in? Like, Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. I I, I can't. Yep. And then they continue to say countries, not continents. And I was like, guys continent. Mm -hmm. There's only a few of them. And then countries live inside those continents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're not even supposed to be teaching that. No. You're just supposed to be teaching that numbers and you out here dropping these gems. Yeah. (laughs) I was trying to tell them like everything in math has a reason. It was not old guys sitting by a fire drinking beer and they were like, oh, I think I'll call this a cube. No, like everything... Mm -hmm. That we do has a purpose, mm-hmm. and like all of this came from somewhere. And I was like trying mm-hmm. to get them to think, like, how would this have come about? And then yeah. one person was like, "Oh, well, what about when the wheel was invented?" I was like, "Okay, okay, we're off. We're off to a good start. The wheel is what <laughs> kind of shape?" Mm-hmm. They were like, "It's, it's a, a circle. circle." And I was like, "Okay, but is it two D or three? It, I mean, I was like, I'll take anything, anything at this point." And grasping and I was, for straws yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. Okay. We had mo- a morning work question today. And granted, it's a little, it's a little higher or like higher level thinking for, for my kids. And, but I want to push them to start thinking differently. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because if I, who, if I don't expose them to it, who's going to do it? Right. So right. the question was, fear has two meanings. One, forget everything and run. Two, forget everything and rise. Do you agree or disagree with the quote? So I literally, I, I read it this morning and I said to my co-teacher, I said, this is going to be fun to see. He was like, yeah. I said, mm-hmm, it's going to be real fun to see. So when they came in, I had it up on the board. I had their sentence starter because I got to give them a sentence starter. I got to mm-hmm. give them a sentence starter. If I don't have one, it's just like, agree. And the thing, yeah. it's, it's wow. So I go over. I'm like, all right, so do you agree with this? Now, when they say fear, they're saying an acronym. That means that every letter in fear stands for something else. So I was like, the F stands for forget. The E stands for everything. The A stands for and. The R stands for run. So when we are fearful and when we are afraid, sometimes we forget what we're supposed to do and we just run. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. But sometimes when we're scared, we forget everything and rise, which means we face our fears. Do you agree with that? Oh, God. 
Oh, God. Some of my kids were like, I agree with this quote because two is better than one. Oh. Okay. Okay. And, you know, I'm... Because I tell my kids at at this point, I'm like, the only thing I want you to do when you come to school is try. Yeah. So every time they turn something in, I'm like, did you try your best? Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. Then that's mm-hmm. good enough for Miss Brand. Yeah. Then that's good enough for me. Because yeah. in the beginning, they wouldn't even try. It would be like, I can't read. Yeah. I can't spell. I don't know what this says. I don't know how to do this. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. we need to try something, baby. We need to try something. So like my kids are doing a lot better with mm-hmm. like, Trying, they're like, Miss Brand, how do you spell? You know, Miss Brand don't care good. about spelling. If you can read it, that's good enough for me. Because then if I yeah. can't read, I come actually, baby, what does this say? But if you like, oh, Miss Brand, I don't know, then Miss Brand can't help you because yeah. I don't know what in the devil this says on this paper. Right. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. So they have gotten better in that department, but it's still just like Pull very teeth. concerning. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because these stories we're writing, these narratives we're writing. They're like, yeah. well, what happens next in the story? I'm like, this is your story. You tell you gotta me. You got to make it. Like, we planned out the plot. This is what's going to happen in the beginning. This is what's going to mm-hmm. happen in the middle. This is what's going to happen in the end. So let's stretch out the beginning. What happens first? Well, I wrote it right there. They go to the beach. Okay, we'll set the scene. What's that look like? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can't mm-hmm. write the story for you. Yeah. Because that would be my story, not your story. Correct. My opinion, my imagination. Yeah. yeah like, and that's called plagiarism. Mm-hmm. It's. It's. We're going to, we're going to make it. Is. We are, we are. Cause yeah. you know, you're right there, spring break. And then, you know, yep. you know, I got 75 years until my spring break, yep. but it'll come, you know, my time is coming. We're excited for it. It's yeah. So spring break, we then have a week of general instruction and then we start okay. uh, state testing. Wow. Ain't that crazy how you come back from spring break? It's just like, bam, test. And we're like, yep. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. And we don't get a little break or something? You don't nope. give us mm-hmm. a little time to prepare a little bit more? Because my... No. Nope. Because they took the forgot practice everything. One. Mm-hmm. We took yeah. the practice one and my kids... Oh, yeah, we did too. A lot of them don't have the, you know, the accommodations that they need to access the test. So... It, I'm just like, do your best. Find the words in the mm-hmm. question. Like, I'm trying to teach them strategies so they feel a so we little. we went over today. I told mine, I was like, guys, you have two sections of math. You have a non-calculator section and a calculator section. Mm-hmm. And so today I spent half the class going over the two modes of a calculator. Like, how to change it to this mode and what this mode will do. Yeah. Said, so, look, we're all about working smart, not hard. Mm-hmm. So what I need for you to do is before you even read the problem, mm-hmm. look at the answer choices. If your answer choices are written in decimal form, you need to be in classic mode. Mm. Because if you're not in classic mode, mm. you're going to get a different answer because it's going to be in math mm-hmm. print mode, okay? Mm. We, had, we talked about all that. And I was trying to be like process of elimination. Like, mm-hmm. guys, there are going to automatically be two answers that don't even make sense. You need to eliminate them. You need to... Yeah. Yeah. We're just doing mm-hmm. our best. We We're are. doing our best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are. We are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anywho, that was the lesson for today. Um, I'll be back next week with another. You got me two weeks in a row. You better get used to it because apparently when Brooks on maternity leave, I'm going to be doing this by myself. Yep. So There you go. So I'm there a little you go. scared. You got I'm it. A little, I'm a little... Who am I going to bounce stuff off with? It's going to be so bland. <laughs> Which says do a trial run. I'll just stay really just quiet. Be, on the be next like, episode. no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh gosh, that's gonna be so funny. I'm gonna be like, all right, our studio out there is straight up. Like I'm gonna be doing everything. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm Ashley. Yeah. I'm Ashley too. <laughs> and you're here with us on Teachers Who Talk Crime podcast. But it's just one teacher, so teacher who talk crime. Mm-hmm. The teacher who taught crime. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, gosh. All right, everybody. Well, I got to get to sleep. Me too. I got to get to sleep. 
Mm-hmm. We got to get that baby to sleep. So, mm-hmm. as always, the bell don't dismiss you. We do. So, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.